Hi everyone, it's Inez, and I'm ready to roll out another recipe. I've had a few viewers, which I'll call my friends, has asked me to make the pumpkin pie spice that I use a lot during the fall, especially, so I have to make a lot of it. Um, first of all, before I start, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's shown a lot of love. I love Danny and Tina, they're just so wonderful, and. I hope that you'll enjoy some of these recipes that I'll share with you as well. Um, I have my son Jonas, he's almost 10, so he's my camera guy and he'll be in my next video as my sample taster, but he's gonna help with this part too. So this is a pretty easy recipe and the reason I started doing it is because pumpkin pie spice is so expensive. Those little jars in the store are like four bucks here. So, and that's easily maybe one or two recipes. So pretty much you might have most of these things in your cabinet. Now I'll show you how I store all my, a lot of my seasonings, if you don't mind looking, is in mason jars. These things are wonderful. So if you have a Winco nearby, which we do, open bins help me um, replenish those spices. So I need cinnamon, ginger, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves. And I've already started with um, uh, the allspice. So I'm gonna add the rest, but I'm gonna have to cheat and use my, my recipe because I wrote it down years ago. As you can see, it's kind of faded out. So I'll print out a new one and I'll put it on the video too. So you're gonna need four and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. Oh, I'm just making a little bit of a a cloud, but you know what? This is not an exact. It, you can, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all like the same smells. It's super fall. And then you'll need two tablespoons of the ginger. Let's get that in here. There it is. And then I already did the allspice because I was kind of running low, so I wanted to make sure I had enough. And then pretty much it's, it's one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg and cloves. And all you're gonna do is just mix it up and then store it in a jar. The smells are wonderful, so fall-like. And all you have to do is just make sure you mix it all in and a good indicator will be when you don't see the the ginger, because it's kind of the lighter colored spice. But that's what I use. I'd be curious to think, or to see how everybody else, if you're making this recipe, how you like it. We use it all the time here, and it's super easy. Can you see that, Jonas? And then all I do is just store it in, in my mason jar using just a funnel easy peasy as Tina would say. So I'm gonna be rolling out my next recipe and it'll be bacon crack and I hope to have it up by today. Um, as we get to know each other, you'll know. Here's our finished product. And as we're getting to know each other, you'll find out that I'll be able to put out more videos um, over the weekend because I don't work on Mondays and Fridays. So stay tuned, we'll have the bacon crack up next. Have a good day.